Hey YouTube, how is everyone doing? This is Big Country Time and I'm back with some more mystery boxes, some online purchases. So today, I'm going to open up two Bands for Arm mystery boxes. They are The Hunt for Boba Fett. So um, just recently, Nick put up a uh, Instagram post saying he's gonna be um, having a new box come out and uh, he got his hands on the new Boba Fett from the NYCC so uh, right away I bought eight boxes so I went down this weekend and picked them up so I'll be opening up a couple of those uh, before I open up those um, I have some purchases pickups that I got um, I picked up this pop from uh, eBay I got one from Whatnot, and then I picked up one from, um, what is it, Pop Shots Co. And they're all kind of kind of related. Um, I've been eyeing a certain uh, series type of uh, Star Wars pop. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at those. So after the first one, you'll kind of have an idea. So first one, let's pick... Um, Let's go with uh, the one from Whatnot. So I got this one from Whatnot. Um, saw, saw a pop that I liked and uh, it was kind of a little bit over PPG. So I put in, a, put in a bid and he accepted my bid. So came out with shipping just a little bit over what the um, PPG is going for. So, you know, I was, I was happy, you know. You, uh, you gotta pay for shipping and handling. So out of the three, um, this is probably the lowest on my list of priorities, but uh, I'm gonna start knocking out the cheapest ones and then I'll work my way up to the higher ones. So it said it was an excellent condition on whatnot. Um, Packaging looks pretty good. All right. And there we go. This is the Star Wars Supreme Leader Snoke. This is the Glow in the Dark 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive. All right. Check that out. So, when I first started doing mystery boxes, I picked up a um, holographic pop. And ever since then, I've been kind of like mesmerized by this style. So I'm not sure if anyone remembers or knows which one that was. Um, let me grab it real quick. So right here, Holographic Emperor. So I think for back then, I guess this was a Grail. And um, this has probably been the best pop that I've gotten out of a mystery box. So um, I still want to get um, the Darth Vader. Um, there's a Qui-Gon Jinn. There's a Darth Maul. Those three would probably be the top three ones I would like to get. So if you guys have looked at these pops, go check them out on a price guide and let me know what you think about those three. So Quick on Jen, Darth Vader, and um, what did I say? Quick on Jen, Darth Vader, and uh, Boba Fett, no, not Boba Fett, um, Darth Maul. So check those three out. So those, that would be the goal for me to get those three. I've seen them on several uh, mystery boxes as grails. I have bought a ton of different boxes trying to get those and I, I haven't got that lucky. So I will keep on trying. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the first one. This was on uh, Whatnot. So I uh, got a pretty good price on that. Um, we'll go with uh, this one right here. This one I got from Pop Shots. Um, 
Pop Shots Co. You can check him out on Instagram. So uh, he was, uh, I think he was downsizing or he was uh, selling a few of his pops. So um, someone made an offer on it and I guess uh, they ne it never went through. So he messaged me and said it was still available. So right away I, uh, I asked him how much and uh, there was no bargaining. He gave me a price and uh, made a deal. All right. So another. How do you get this open? Yeah. Another uh, type of holographic glow in the dark pop. This is Spirit Yoda. So it's a Spirit Yoda. It's a Walgreens exclusive. Um, it's the number two in the blue box series. So I guess it's in the same same series as uh, the Holographic Emperor. Pretty good condition, a couple of nicks. It's not, uh, you know, it's not a 10, but uh, awesome pop. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll love to keep it in my collection. So, see that? So we'll put that right there. So we've got the Supreme Leader Snoke. We've got the Yoda Spirit. Of course, we have this one. I've had this one already. Those are, those are not going anywhere, okay? So, all right. So we had a whatnot, we had a uh, Instagram purchase, and now we have an eBay purchase. So this one was from love to laugh 2773 underscore five at eBay. So it's love, L-U-V, Number two, L A U G H, two seven seven three underscore five. So I got this from, from her. Um, definitely was a cool person when I was communicating with her on eBay. Um, asked her if I could mention her on my video, and she said, "Yeah, go ahead." All right. Won't won't say her real name. She didn't give me permission to say her real name, but. We'll say her eBay store. So, packaging is really good. All right, got it in a sorter. And, bam, if you can see that. This, right here. Glow in the dark, Ahsoka. So, this is probably uh, my number two favorite of the ones I owe, own. So, Star Wars Rebels. Um, awesome cartoon. If you guys haven't seen Star Wars Rebels, go check it out. I'm uh, rewatching the series right now, and I just <clears throat> just rewatched the episode when she makes her first appearance. Um, but I got, I think I got an amazing deal for this. Um, um, I think it was 20, $24 on eBay, which I think the value of these are going back up because she's supposed to make an appearance in uh, Mandalorian season two. Um, but dude, this is uh, awesome. Check that out. So definitely we'll be going into a protector What do you guys think? Get the, um, the Darth Vader, get the um, uh, Darth Maul, and get in a Qui Gon Jinn in there. That will be uh, a nice little uh, set of pops. So if you know anyone who has those, wants to give me an outstanding deal, um, let me know. Uh, Maybe interested. I don't know about PBG price. That's those are probably kind of up there. I think um, the most obtainable one would probably be Qui Gon Jinn, Darth Vader, and um, 
Darth Maul. Whoa, those are up there. Maybe one day. All right, so we did the purchases. Who wants to see some mystery boxes? All right. Will I do as well as my purchases? Will I get the grail of the grails for NYCC? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so these are the pops, mystery boxes. He had them marked as the hunt for Boba. Um, like I said, I bought eight originally. Um, he told me to come pick them up. I went down to the store, picked them up. Um, I had several other orders available, and um, I was able to um, pick up three more while I was there. So I think I have a total of 11 of those. So I have eight, 11 of those, and I have a um, second series of the Star Wars boxes. So we'll, we'll spread them out. I'm still trying to do another battle with my daughter or my wife, so working on that. So just as a little teaser, we'll do two of these today because I can't wait. All right, so here's one, and here's another one. All right, just out of uh, fun and curiosity, I want to just kind of weigh these things and see how much how much they weigh, if I can tell by the weight, if I can get a better pop. All right, so we'll see. So weighing this one, comes in at about 8.8 .8 ounces. All right, the next one, 7.1 ounces. So we're gonna open up the lighter one first. Probably no protector. Um, so definitely this is not going to be Boba Fett, because Boba Fett was in a hard stack. So I've been, uh, I've been selling some pops here and there on eBay. So I got to weigh them. And typically a box weighs with one pop right in between, depending on the pop, 8 to 10 ounces. So, ooh, okay. So this is a cool one. All right, can you guys see it? Awesome. Cobra Kai, Daniel LaRusso. That's pretty cool. I just got done watching first and second season of Cobra Kai. And this was an awesome series. It brought so much uh, childhood memories back watching this. Um, the music and just the fight scenes and just the, the tension between uh, Johnny and Daniel, it lives on. So go go check this uh, series out. Uh, I'm not sure how much this pop is worth, um, but it's definitely cool. You can see, um, Johnny on the back. I'm not sure if it's just these two in the this, this set, but that's all it shows. Um, definitely probably keep that around for a while. We'll check out the value on that. And we'll check out the value of my pops that I purchased. I'm not sure if they've gone up or gone down since I bought them. So they've been kind of sitting here. So I've been, well, I was actually waiting for one more to show up, but couldn't wait. All right, so we'll go for the next one. Remember, this one was the higher weight. So it doesn't mean I'll be in a protector, but it's a heavier, heavier pop. And just by the way, I don't think it's going to be the Boba Fett. I think the Boba Fett in the protector probably is going to be over 10 ounces. All right. Oh, cool. So I have this one already, Umbrella Academy, so it's going to be a duplicate. But uh, check it out, that's Ben, if you guys are paying attention to the NYCC, 
you know that too, they just released a new bin pop and uh, it would have been nice to get that one no such luck one of these days I'll uh, become a winner but too cool pop um, it's a duplicate uh, so if you're interested uh, let me know um, I have been selling some stuff on eBay so let me know before I put it up there I'll give you a couple days so I don't think this one um, is worth a whole lot um, the thing with uh, Nick he offers the buy three get one free so they come out fairly cheap they're like uh, less than ten dollars I pick them up so I don't pay shipping so I really can't beat that even when you lose you're not really losing and if you know Nick the money goes towards a fundraiser I can't recall which fundraiser this is going for um, I could probably check it out real quick but give me a second I'm gonna check value So they have a um, glowing dark hot topic exclusive 28 the common bin oh wow okay it's going for $17 wow not bad so Ben the common $17 not bad all right so more than I was expecting but, uh, that'd be cool to get the glow in the dark one kind of goes goes with all those doesn't it so here we go we said uh, the one's 17 we'll check out Daniel LaRusso wax on wax off so Daniel does take on an apprentice on the um, Cobra Kai so uh, you will get to hear him say uh, that to his uh, his disciple or trainee or what's the proper saying for that all right Daniel LaRusso comes in at let's see let's see let's see let's see oh shoot really good so Daniel Reluso $25 so wow I came up big time on those two really happy it's not the Boba Fett, but you know, they're both winners. And um, I'll keep the Daniel LaRusso, I'll check out the Ben Pop I have, my daughter has in her room. She's more of the um, Umbrella Academy geek than I am. She's the one that got me into it, but um, I think I love it just as much as her. Let's see. All right, give me a second. I'm bringing up um, Nick's um, site to see where this money is going towards. All right. So the Bands for Arms um, Instagram account is pop underscore n underscore funko pops it's pop and pops and uh, he's the one that runs uh, on bands for arms tons and tons of uh, comp um, people talking about his um, boxes you can look all over these videos everyone has his boxes really good deals and like I said most of them go towards a fundraiser all right so the hunt for Boba Fett mystery boxes they're totally sold out and scrolling down let's see 100 percent each mystery sold will be donated towards the charity the uso all right there you go so he had 200 boxes at 12.99 each i was able to jump in on them super fast so i got the buy three get one which was a mouse and deal all right so uh, i'm right about 20 minutes on my video 
Um, I have a bunch more stuff to open, but I'll save that for another video. But uh, go ahead and let me know what you think about uh, the boxes. Let me know what you know about purchases. Uh, throw some comments down there. <coughs> Give me a, a like, thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the little uh, bell. And you can know when, uh, when I post a video. All right. So um, this is uh, Big Country Time. And we'll be seeing you on the next video. I'm out.